So don't be um, overwhelmed by the fact that, oh my God, this Bible, this book is so thick, I can't take it all. You don't have to take it all up front. Right. You apply slowly but surely. It's a process. It was a process for every man here. Most of us didn't start off with just wearing fringes. Somebody had to tell us. Right. Yo, you gotta wear fringes. You know you're Israelite, you gotta wear fringes. What? Okay, the next step is now I gotta apply. Now I gotta drink the milk. I gotta apply what I was just told. That's how babies start, that's how babies learn. You may have to, not may, you will have to tell a child over and over and over again the same thing. It's like, hey, buddy, why you don't get it? Just put on the fringes. Sit down, shut up. That's what you gotta do to a child. But guess what? That's a part of growing up. That's a part of growing in the spirit. Right. Until you reach full age. Right. Until you reach to the point where now you can tell the next man. You can uh, tell the next person. Now you can build a school up. Because you have spirits up under you that now you have to go and you have to build those spirits up. Right. But it's steps and levels. Not all of us just uh, threw away the port on the first day. But some of us we did. But for others, it was a process of being weaned off of that. But it's a process. But if you never start, you'll never attain. And at the end, when Christ returns, he's going to kill you. Why? Because you never, you never got the milk. have a dialogue the brother's looking for a, a, he's got a good question but now you got to have an answer what's according love? to the scriptures you say you study right yeah what's love i mean i don't know the exact scripture but i do know love is charity love is slow to anger love is praying without ceasing you know not okay, covenant for your nothing first judge i'm gonna show you first judge chapter five verse three now to your to your uh to your question this is something that we can apply if you're trying to get to the level we're trying to get to the level of, of the most high christ right, all right. That's what we're trying to attain. Follow us as we follow Christ. That's Once right. you see us going off, and we start teaching, we can have multiple wives, that we can start killing, that we can start robbing, raping, murdering, or whatever. Don't, fo don't follow that. No. No. Follow us as you see us follow Christ. Follow us as you see the example based on the Bible. Come on. Right. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. This is the love of God, that we do what? That we keep his commandments. So now the brother was going into the commandments, and I'm going to let him come back up. So give me a commandment. You say love, right? What is love again? What is love? It's love. Mm -hmm. It's love of Christ. It's like y'all just said, keep his commandments. It's keeping the commandments. So what commandments do you keep? I mean, I try my best to keep all of them. Like what? Give me an example. Uh, well, thou shall not covet. Thou shall not kill. Thou what is covetous? Covered is like wanting something that your neighbor or somebody that you know that's next to you got, right? So give me an example of covered. Well, okay. This brother got on got got more money. He's showing off his money, so okay. I want what he wants. I'ma take what I'm in my heart. I'ma take what he got because he's doing better than me. 
basically not acknowledging the fact that this man a brother like me. Like, we the same color. But I'm wondering what he got, not realizing all I got to do is ask him to work for my own. So what are you willing to do? Because consciousness is more than that. So what are you willing to do to get what he got? Anything that's carnal, like steal, rob. Exactly. A covetous brother or a covetous Excuse sister me. is willing to steal, rob, or do whatever they got to do to get what the next man got. Because they got a covetous spirit. Give me a commandment. Give me a commandment that we can see. Because okay. I don't know if you if you don't if you don't covet. I don't know that. On me? Based on what I can see. On the outside. Sirach 19. Based on what I can see on the outside. Show me an outward manifestation of your belief. Outward manifestation of my belief? Yes. From, a, from one of the commandments? Correct. Well, honestly, I can't really just like show you. I can I can just allow my spirit and my essence that you see like I see you to be manifestation because my faith is in Most High Christ like you see but I do my best to follow the commandments you know I can't give you no actual physical demonstration because you're not in right day day day. 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 I'm going to show you why I asked for an outward come on Sirach chapter 19 verse 29 a man may be known by his look so the Bible says a man may be known by his look so I know if you have faith or if you believe based on what I can see. I can't see if you are, are an idolater for the most part because you don't have a, a neck, you ain't got a Buddha necklace on or nothing like that. I can't tell if you're covetous. I don't know if you're going to go down the street and rob somebody because you like they, they sneakers or whatever. I don't know that. I don't know if you're a murderer, if you're going to go out, if you're going to go out and beat your wife if you got one or your children. I don't know that. But there are basic things that I can see to show whether, to prove whether you believe or not. Because there's an action. Read it again. A man may be known by his look, and and one that hath understanding by the countenance. By his countenance, by his facial features, his facial expression. When thou meetest him, a man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. So he said attire, right? What is attire? What kind of attire? Attire. A T T I R E. Oh, what attire? How you dress? You're a pro. Like how you dress? You're a pro, right? Watch this. Number fifteen. Bring Let's bring it full circle. Let's bring it full circle. So you say you believe, right? In the Most High Christ, right? What is love? What is love? Keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments, right? Good answer. Come on. Numbers fifteen, verse thirty-eight. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them. Stop. What does bid mean? When you bid somebody to do something, charge, what does that right? mean? You charge them or what? You mean make it plain. Uh, tell them, command them. This is the commandment. Come on. That they make them fringes. That they make them what? Fringes. What are fringes? Fringes is what you wear. What we got on, right? I ain't got the money. Come on. To... In the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Uh huh. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Border, ribbon of blue. Come on. And it We're shall... dealing with what are we dealing with? A tire, right? Yeah. Tired. Come on. And it shall be unto you for uh -huh. a friend uh -huh. that they look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So this is a commandment, right? So you say you don't have the money. What I'm saying I, is, what do you say? There's a lot of my brothers and sisters that's Hebrews out here who ain't got no money to have fringes. You that's know what a, I'm saying? That's an excuse. That's an excuse. That's not an excuse. You can, that's you actually can going on right I now. I understand it, but you yeah, can I mean, easily go to the store. You can take literally a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars. You can go and get you a ribbon of blue. You can go into any store, grab you some system, steal them. Go, just cut the bottom. You put that ribbon of blue around the border of that garment, and guess what you got? Fringes. A dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars. Y'all go to McDonald's and spend more than that. Y'all go to Popeyes and spend more than that. Your shoes cost more than that. That hat costs more than that. Guaranteed. That backpack, that phone you got in your hand. That's a two, three, four hundred dollar phone, Hebrew, correct? Right? Is that not a two, three hundred dollar phone? Right? So if you have the money, to, no, so no, if you have the money for that, but okay, I'm asking, sixty dollars is more than two or three dollars, right? Are you a Hebrew? So then you have to make sure that your priorities are straight. My if you say you straight. believe, if you say that you, if, if you I believe had, in if the most high, unit like you brothers, I would be, I would be trying to invest my finances into lifting up my sisters okay. and brothers, like you say, with spiritual okay, demonstration, so rather than open rebuke. 
Okay. I would want them yeah. to see them Open in rebuke is better than seeking love. Right. 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 But so I'm it's, it's easy to say you ain't wearing that, so Christ ain't gonna recognize or whatever you're trying to I, I, understand I would much rather show demonstration, like, okay, brother, let's go get you some fringes, because it only costs a dollar. Let's go get my brothers and sisters some fringes. I'm gonna give you those fringes with this guy if I can. What's your name? Devontae. Devontae. Brother Devontae, he just walked up. So let's deal with it. I believe now. in you, brother. But listen, listen, I'm listen. Saying, like, listen, I, I understand, I understand, but let's deal with it now. I, I, just walked up. So you, I, we can't use the example, but let me take it to but the store. But you just me based on my attire. I, no, 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 no. You said you believe, correct? Right? You said you said you believe in the Most High in Christ, right? You said he's dealing with you on a spiritual level, right? And I'm not so fooling. now, no, right, but listen, listen, listen. So I'm not bashing you because you don't have them on. I'm showing you that based on the Bible, what belief, what it means to believe, what it means to say you have faith, what it means to uh, have the proper attire. Right. Why? Because you have to be an example. That's right. Because if you walk up and down the street telling people, I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, I keep the commandments, I love God, I love the Most High Christ. But then they see your example, it don't matter what you tell them. That's why I'm showing you that the outward, there has to be an outward manifestation of what you say you believe. A part of that outward manifestation is you following something uh, uh, as basic as fringes. My outward manifestation to me, according to my faith, is me not standing here drunk or high. Because I was an alcoholic. Jeremiah 17. And Christ delivered me from that. My faith in Christ would allow him to manifest so, in my life to deliver me from those things. So based on what we just read, are you going to start wearing fringes? Yeah, I, I plan on, I have a brother that's with you guys, his name is Shaquah. He wears fringes every day. What city is he? He's okay. in Dallas. Okay, so if if he's wearing fringes, why aren't you, you say you believe, he said he, he says he believes? Because I don't have, said, I don't know how to sew. I mean, I don't, I, I, I study so, my scriptures. So I, I try not he, to focus on so, the time. Listen, so if he's your friend, 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 why aren't you going to him to, to, uh, to help you, you say he's he wearing a fringes, family, right? I have a family. He works, I work. We, we fellowship together. So these are these ex okay, we don't so if y'all fellowship on, together, you know, if y'all fellowship together, why don't you go to the same seamstress or whatever, whoever's sewing his fringes on, why don't you say, hey, bro, I got to keep this commandment. I believe. I got the same faith you got. Why aren't you going to the same person he goes to with his fringes? Right. Because my relationship with Christ sustains uh, my belief. Jeremiah 17. Bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even nine, thyself. Nine, 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 verse nine. 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Your mind is deceitful. Your mind is telling you one thing. Your mind is saying, oh, I got my own thought. I got my own faith. Okay, so read it again. So wearing fringes that the heart that is deceitful. Faith, right? What's the heart? What is the heart? What is the heart? When the Bible says the heart. The spirit. The spirit? Give me a scripture. No, I, I'm asking you to give me a scripture about the fringes, like basically saying, you basically just told me that my, my faith is determined by my attire, right? Okay, watch this. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. What's and the, it shall come to pass. Zephaniah? Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. We're gonna deal with the we're gonna deal with the attire. Okay. We're still dealing with the attire. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish What's the... What's the day of the Lord's sacrifice? Matthew 7, right? No. What's the day of the Lord's sacrifice? I don't know. Judgment. When Christ returns and he brings judgment on the whole, on the whole earth. Read it again. It out. And it shall come to pass, in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children. That's us. That's the Israelites. Come on. And all... Such are clothed with Stop. All such as what? Are clothed. Are clothed. What's another word for clothing that we brought out earlier, Brother Devontae? Attire, right? Attire. Read that part again. And all such are clothed. All what? All that are clothed. All that are clothed or that have the attire of what? With strange apparel. Strange apparel. What's an example of strange apparel on an Israelite? What? Give me, a, give me an example based on what we're talking about. Sagging pants. I know you got one. Not wearing fringes. Not having fringes. That's strange apparel because an Israelite is bid, bidden or commanded to wear fringes, right? Right, right. So when you don't have fringes on, that's strange apparel. Now let's see the punishment 
but those that are clothed in strange apparel again. Read it. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish. That I will what? Punish. Punish. Come on. The princes and the, Second and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. And all such as are clothed in strange apparel. A woman in pants is strange apparel. She must repent. A man not having fringes on his shirt is strange exactly apparel. Specifies on not having fringes and being strange. Because I know that Christ is in my heart and I don't have on no fringes. Okay, second verse seven. Like I can't put fringes on my heart. Matthew 5 and 16. Six. Hold that. Matthew 5 and 16. Watch Matthew this. 5 and 16. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Because Christ said it himself. Come on. I'm going to show you something. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Because this is this is spiritual. Yep. This is spiritual. The fringes, spiritual. A beard, spiritual. Right. Come on. Matthew 5 Let verse 16. Matthew chapter 5 verse what? Verse, uh, verse 16. Six. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Come on. Let your light so shine before men. What's the light? He said, read it again. Let your light so shine before men. What's the light? I don't know. You tell me. Who's speaking right here? Christ. Christ, right? He said, let your light so shine before men. Read on. Let your light so shine before men that they may see. Stop. That they may what? They may see. They may what? They may see. Come on. Your good work. Come on. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now let's break that verse down. Let's break that verse down right there. I'm listening. Okay? Read it again. Slow. Let your light stop. The light. Proverbs 6. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. Stop. Go back. Read it again. Let your light stop. What's the light? Based on what we just read. Love Christ, right? I Go back. Proverbs chapter you gotta 6. Oh, hey. Proverbs. I didn't Proverbs. Know you Proverbs. So you got a Bible in your hand. Follow along with us. Everything we're saying, we're not going to come off uh, uh, how we feel. I understand what you're saying, but it's not specifying. He's saying Stop. that but the Israelite will be strange in the eye of Christ and the Lord up above if he don't wear fringes. It doesn't specify that in the Bible. What do you mean? So can you start, can you break, is, is wearing fringes a commandment? Yes or no? I, 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 from my understanding, there's many more commandments than we I didn't understand. Ask you, I didn't ask you about no other commandment. I said it's from very my understanding. Quick. No, I didn't, I, it's not a commandment. So what we just read in Numbers fifteen thirty eight, that's not a commandment. What is, let's go back to it. Let's go because, back to Numbers fifteen. Because I studied a lot and I never read the Bible. Uh, the Bible first. Let's say, go back to Numbers fifteen thirty eight. Then let's that's go back to Numbers to the fifteen. Let's go back. You read it. Matter, is that a King James version? Yeah. You read Numbers chapter fifteen verse thirty eight. And exalt your voice. That's what men do. We read loud. Right. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. And I want you, look, give me your name again. Devontae. Chris. Brother Chris. Brother Devontae. Brother Chris. You break this down for me. Numbers. You, brother kid. We got two Chris. Numbers chapter 15. In verse 38. Come on. Verse 38. Okay. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. Stop. Who are the children of Israel? Us. Brother Chris. Us, the so-called black Native American, you know. And his family. Brother, Brother Chris. Brother Chris. Who are the Israelites? Who are the children of Israel? Israel. Mm -hmm. Look in his son. It's us. Right. So read that, okay. read that again. Read that again. Speak unto the children of Israel. Okay, speak unto the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. And bid them and that they make. What does the word bid mean? Charge command. them. Command them. Command them. Brother Chris. What does the word bid mean? Bid. Uh, if I'm bidding you to do something, what am I telling you? I'm commanding you to do something, right? Read it again. From 38? 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And bid them. And that, command them. That they make fringes. That in they the borders, make fringes. In the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generation. Stop. What, is that, what does that mean? It says what? Throughout their generation. their generation. See, I'll put What does that, that mean? What does that mean? That means from generation to generation. So does that mean only during the times of Moses? Nah. So does that mean for us today? Yeah, today. Because we're the generation of who? But I appreciate Abraham, that because I, I, I didn't all, read that. All praise to the most high. That's all why I'm praise. glad we went back to it. No doubt. Because I don't want you to I don't want you to feel like we just blasting you for no reason. No, 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 you're I, right. What I'm saying is that's brothers and sisters is not in truth. 
who don't know this. You know what I'm saying? But we're not dealing with everybody right now. We're dealing with you. Right. We're dealing with the men right here. Right. We're dealing with what's happening right now. That's what the brother's dealing with you right now. I can't we I, I can't worry about somebody that's down the street and they're not here listening to us right now. That's I want right. to deal with the brothers and sisters that are here right now. So it is a commandment for the children of Israel to wear fringes in a border of blue around the garment of their shirts and sisters and their skirts throughout their generations. It was not just during the times of Moses. It wasn't. I'm going to show you why that's so heavy. And I said it was spiritual. Come, go back to Matthew. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men. So brother Devante, what's the light? The commandments, right. Come on. Let your light so shine before men. Stop. What does it mean before men? Like how y'all before us right now. Right. So that people can see, right? Right. Come on. That they may see your good works. That they may what? See your good works. What are the good works? Keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments. Uh, Sirach 11, 15. Sirach chapter 11, verse 15. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law. Of what? Understanding of the law. Come on. Or of the Lord. Love in the way of good works. Of what? In the way of good works. Or from him. Or from him. Go back. Matthew. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7, 16. You let, let your light so shine before men. So the Bible says to let your light, let the commandments shine, may be put on display for everybody to see. For your brothers and sisters that don't know that they're Israelites. To see. Come on. That they may see your good works. That they may see you applying the laws of God. Right. right. Because it's one thing to say, oh, I believe in him. That, that's nothing different than a Christian. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. Well, how do you yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know. I just, I just love him. And, and I read and I meditate. And, but you don't apply. That's the thing. That's the level we got to get you to. It's right. application. That's the thing that we got to get all of our people, the entire nation. We have to get them to the point of application. That's right. That's, right. Right. that's the next level. It's a lot of brothers and sisters walking up and down this street right now that know that they're Israelites. That's right. What differentiates them from us? Application. Right. That's right. the difference. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.